here we go. We're going to go through our first floor in the game and see if we can make it out safely. If you missed the rules explanation, we had a previous video with that. So I recommend go checking that out so you know what's going on before you watch this one. All right. So the start of the game, uh, we did our drawing objectives. The next thing we can do as part of the starter game is allocating our power if we want. Now, actually, did you want to play access or processor? Um, let's do processor. All right, perfect. I want to advance dice. Play processor. <laughs> um, I did send you uh, a player aid. I just want to draw your attention to the fact that you have ringleader here as an innate ability. Um, so that's an ability you always have even from the start. So you should know what that does. Once per turn, gain the matching action bonus, no matter what action type you are using. Oh, that's awesome. So once per turn, I don't care what the uh, the symbol was on the chip I'm moving onto. Is that right? Exactly. You can just pretend that that chip is whatever you want it to be. Yes, I'm. The... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, and then mine as access. Um, when I access a terminal, um, I can do both. Like, if I pass the security check, I can do both of the bottom options instead of just one. So you're, you're kind of like you're always on a super terminal almost, except you don't skip kind the of, yeah. uh, thing automatically. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so what we can do now, if we want to, is we can spend power. Um, I'm, I'm going to choose not to just so I can learn the game better before I do. <laughs> perfect. I think I'm also... Uh, I am going to spend two, I think. I'm going to spend two power to, uh, uh, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. Oh, you, you were thinking about unlocking your, uh, your second or your third chip? Yeah, I wanted to unlock my third because I thought it was physical and, and neither of us are contributing physical right now. Yeah. But that's actually my fourth slot. Um, oh, wait, but I don't have to do them in order. I'm thinking that this is Cloudspire. Yes. <laughs> um, so, so I'm going to spend two power and now I'm also contributing a physical. All right. So I spent power. Uh, now we're going to, let me just make sure I'm not skipping anything. Uh, we're going to choose our spots on the board now. Uh, we can go anywhere outside knowing where our doors are. Um, and I have to start on the exact space if I want the bonus. Exactly. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I think I still might ignore that and just start right on the lobby and be ready to run in and head toward the uh, the corner of the warehouse. Okay. How many were contributing? I have three and you have two, two for five. So to be efficient, we probably want at least one of our bots to start on a symbol. And this transmitter, we can use transmitter yep. for that, right? Yep. Um, how about a physical like right here? Yeah, um, sure. Or over by the main door, unless you were thinking of going over there. That's really dangerous because I just spent a bunch of power. Well, then yeah, let, let's have transmitter go over there. Okay, yeah, send send transmitter over there. He doesn't have to open it yet. Um, <laughs> and I will, I'll I'll trail you, and we'll make you start. We'll make you start player. Uh, we don't have a start player chip yet, so you get this awesome chip. You might recognize. Wait a second. <laughs> 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 I've seen that game before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we picked our starting spots. Now we're going to build our burn cycle bag. So read me what you have again. Two tech. You have two tech. And you've got utility and tech, right? I've got utility and tech and a movement. And then, and then we have I a movement from transmitter. doing a movement and nothing else. All right, so I'll shuffle that up. And then we'll build our burn cycle. And is this for both of our act turns? Yep. So this gotcha. is this is for all of us. And then what we get to do is we get to pull the rest of the chips out. Um, if there were more than three, then we would pick three, and that becomes our burn cycle reserve. Okay. So so that's why you uh, really wanted to make sure we had one more chip. Exactly. Because if we only had five, then we'd just be we'd be short one. Now this bonus one is that like any turn where we start the turn on that space? Uh, good question. Uh. Yes, but there's also, because we're not going to spend much time outside, rooms also have symbols on them that they contribute to your bag. So when we refresh the burn cycle, we look at all the rooms that we're in. And if both uh, of us are in the same room, we only get those chips once, I assume? Correct. Got it. Correct. All right, so I am first. 
I'm going to keypad, which is a tech accent action, which oh, is... Oh, sorry. Did we get... We need imperatives. Oh, yes. No, we didn't get imperatives. <laughs> I, I still don't know what they are. <laughs> uh, we need strong imperative. It's essentially a bad thing that gives you power when you complete it. Okay. Or when it's realized. So we each have our own? Yep. All right. So here, uh, why don't you talk through yours first, Shannon? I'm zooming in on it. Sure. So mine says boot in safe mode. Um... Uh, the next terminal you access, you may ignore any security check, but must choose the, the option listed at the bottom. So when this happens, I'll get the one power here and I'll discard it. If at any point I draw another imperative and I still have this one, I just discard this one. You can only ever have one. All right, let's look at what mine is. Bandwidth throttling. Your, <laughs> your bot's action set does not contribute to the action pool after the next burn cycle reset. Oh my gosh. So, Ooh. so we're not going to add my two tech chips to the bag. Correct. But I'll get two power basically automatically. Correct. All right, so that's good and bad. All right. <laughs> so keypadding, I need to get two action points, and I'm going to. So I'm moving my thing up. Tell me if I'm doing anything wrong, Shannon. I think you're an excellent oh, teacher. I absolutely well. And I think I got it. <laughs> but let's see how it goes. So uh, this would normally be a tech action, but I'm going to use my. Um, my whatever the skill was called, <laughs> my my ring oh ringleader that is it is ringleader. I'm gonna use my ringleader action to pretend that it is a utility, utility action, and the bonus is when you flip the keypad, I get over, to ignore you one. Can, you can ignore one of the, but symbols. I still need to get two. Exactly. So, so I am gonna be safe. I'm gonna use two advanced dice. Okay. I know it's maybe a little bit over. So no, we put, gotta, we gotta get. I mean, yeah. If we don't get in the door, then the, okay. Matters. So that was nice. <laughs> so those good, like my exhausted. I'm just too many bonesing it over here. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so I get to immediately draw and place the top keypad card. I'll zoom in, and because I had the bonus, I do not have to do a physical action. That door is just immediately unlocked. Is that right? Exactly. Okay. Where are the green? Uh, there's just a green bag. I, I got it. Bag now do I it. I don't roll the die until I actually enter? You don't, but when you unlock a door, uh you can for free move into the room if you want to. Oh, like a single space? Uh yeah. Let's do it. All right, so here there we go. We go. Not a guard, not a now. broken thing. Gosh darn uh, it. <laughs> okay. Well, there's no terminal in there. But there's nobody else. So hey, at least at least we gained no we gained access. Uh, yeah, there's no guard in there, so that's a good thing. All right. So for my second action, I do all three of mine, right? Yep. Okay, I'm going to use a physical, and that will give me two for free, yes? Two movement for free, yes. Okay. Um, now get me to the door, and there's no terminal to go to anymore. Uh, I'm assuming dice left over in my pool at the end are kind of worth nothing, right? Correct. All right, well, I can at least make 100%. And, and, and don't forget about uh, terminal over here. So <gasps> oh, that's right. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, okay, good call. So I can. All right, let's, so let me go ahead and... Um, I'm going to roll two basic dice for this physical move action. I did get two, so I've got four movement total. So I'll, I'll start working toward the warehouse. I'll go to that door, and I'll move our buddy down. Oh my gosh, is that where I want him to enter? Why'd I put him there again? <laughs> Well, the, I don't know. There, there are two doors there. So, I mean, there's, there's the entrance and there's security. Well, and, and if he waits a minute, this guy's going to walk a little ways away. The four is his movement? Uh, yes. So he'll go one, two, three, turn around, four. Oh, no, no. He's the one who wants to hug the wall, right? Or, yeah. Sorry. So he's going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, beautiful. So he'll already be looking yeah. away. So it'll be easy entry for transmitter next round. Perfect. Okay, and then uh, this worked out well for my final action. Well, assuming I roll good. <laughs> I'm going to try to open this door as well. Um, so I've got... just need to get two. Come on. No, I fail. So the blank stays, but it doesn't matter because I'm out of actions. All right. So that is it, right? Okay. So you've... Uh kind of opened the way for me. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I know I want to move in and I know I want 
transmitter to try and unlock that door. Oh, by the way, Shannon, real quick, the speaking of locking, I think you mentioned at some point that these can get locked sometimes. Yeah, so at the end of every round, um, the oh, I should have mentioned that actually. Because that's super important. At the end of every round, our bottom chip on our burn cycle locks. But then we can switch so, it out from the reserve on the next round, right? And You can switch out from the reserve um, basically whenever you want. So um, at that time that it gets locked out, or even like if I'm here on my turn, I can switch out anything below me. But you at some point are going to need to reset the burn cycle. Um, when you do that, threat goes up by one for every bot in your party. So it's going to go up by three for us. Um, and then we, we rebuild our bag. Oh, okay. And then that's when, that's when first player also passes. Oh, so we're not building our bag every turn. This is it. No, we're going to keep, we're going to keep running on this burn cycle, but it's going to keep deteriorating on us. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. That, 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 that's super important. I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad I asked. That's good. <laughs> So we don't want to throw away too many of our reserve chips because they're going to give us more turns with our burn cycle as is without needing to reset. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this guy to move. My first one to move. So you're going to the warehouse. We need two. We need two bots on. No, no, we're we're doing the uh, external corners. We're doing this one. Yeah. We can flip that back over. Yeah, so if we just leave transmitter in this corner. Oh sure. That, that's what I was thinking. If we get transmitter one, in, and it should you're be gonna safer. go into the warehouse. So I can kind of just run around and try and collect stuff. Well yeah, go go hunt terminals. <laughs> that's what you're All good right. at, right? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna aim for this terminal that's somehow in the washroom with a potential guard. I mean well, you, 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 you're you're not uh, you're not on your laptop in the in the washroom. <laughs> Um, a keypad, the keypad I want to do is going to cost me two AP. So I got to save some dice for that. Okay. So here's what I, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just bypass the, the tech. I'm going to go to movement and I'm going to roll, uh, these two dice. Okay. So I got three, which is five cause I'm on physical. So one, two, three, four. <coughs> So those ones are exhausted and then I'm going to I think I've got to let terminal unlock uh no I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna unlock mine instead of terminal doing it all right so I now roll for the keypad do better than I did yay <laughs> I got a three so I got the got the door uh or the keypad unlocked and it has a die roll but you're ignoring so it because of your utility right uh i do have to roll it first i believe oh okay and then i can ignore it as long as uh, i don't know if there's a shock on this die or not is there there's not so it'll be oh there's a door jam on it uh that's ignorable too so i it doesn't really matter what i get it's unlocked. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and I get to move in for free. And then we will see what's in this room. Do you like to put the green pegs on both sides? A crate? Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. There's, there would be a crate in there, but there's no crate. All right. So that's that room. Um, and that's my turn. All right. So all now right, all so... the guards activate. Is that right? Exactly. So let, let, me, let me try... Let me see if I can do it. All right, so this guy does nothing. This guy's going to go ha, 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 one, two, three, four. And is his facing the last movie took like that? No, they actually uh, pivot to face the way they'd move next. Got it, got it. Okay, there we go. This guy just goes doop, and he's going to move that way next. And that guy hangs out. That's it, right? That's it. That, that took forever, Shannon. I hate that the enemy <laughs> turn is so long. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then we would do network pings um, if there were any, but there's not. That's it. Uh, sorry, the, the burn cycle. Um, so the bottom of the burn cycle flips. Uh, and then we can choose whether we want to refresh it or just keep going with what we have. Now let's keep going, right? Sounds good. All right. So we've got two techs and a physical we could switch in. So I would say, um, because at the bottom, um, do your turn. Oh, and then and see. If you get, 
If you get to the movement and you want another action, then swap it out. Why don't you go first and see how the... Uh, yes, it totally makes sense. Why don't you see well, how I the can't terminal... Well, I can't because uh, you're a start player. Oh, I'm start player every turn. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Well, you'll say start player and it'll it'll switch when we reset, when we reboot. Got it. All right, so... I'm going to use my ringleader ability. I'm going to treat that as though okay. it's utility. Perfect. And I got all my dice back. Come over here, my little pretty dice. Um, I will spend two orange. So I guess no really need to roll, I guess, but I'll do it anyway. Okay, three, so I'm good. I have accessed the keypad. Um, and it is, that would be a, what is that symbol again? I mean, it looks like a ping maybe? Yes, add a ping to the network. But can I ignore that? Yes, you can. All right, great. So forget you. <laughs> okay, then I'll do physical. Um, I only need three, and I get two automatically, and a transmitter doesn't need to move, so I just need one. So I will do two dice just to be safe. And darn it. <laughs> I did water roll hits on both of them. Okay, so oh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mark the. Uh... Yeah, and you do get the free move out as well because you unlocked a door. Oh, oh, wait, wait, hold on, then I wouldn't have spent any dice, right? Because I, okay. I already have the two. I oh, great, that guard is coming right at my face. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Well, well, that. Uh... Uh, neither of them can actually see you there. No, no, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about um. In a moment. Like, I'm not going to be able to open the warehouse. Even if we swap something out, there'll, there's a good likelihood there'll be another action I need to take um, as part of the uh, of the unlocking of the keypad. You know what I mean? So I'll be able to generate the two AP. Oh, crud. Um, okay, so you know what? Let, uh, let me not take the free move. Okay. So, sorry, I know I already rolled dice. Let's forget that happened. Yeah, it's all good. Um. I will instead, I'll give the action to Transmitter mm -hmm. and try to have him open his door now that the guy's left. Perfect. Okay, so I guess I, I won't need dice necessarily. So, you know, let's let's give him two uh, orange as well, just to make sure it happens. Um, and wait, I definitely used two orange before. I, I messed up something with my dice. Okay, so... <laughs> So we'll do one orange and a yeah, you know, we'll do two two yellow and an orange. I don't want to mess up. Um, oh, nice. So I keep one. All right. So he gets the key card. And it is. Oh, so he takes a damage. Uh, right. Yep. And then. So I, I could throw moment. away the physical or I could switch this to be a physical and then move him immediately down onto it. Is that right? You kind of can't do it like in the middle of doing another thing. Okay, well we're gonna throw away our physical then. Yep, so I guess our I think that's fine. I guess our reserve choice gets a little bit <laughs> weak in there. Um, all right, so that's a that's a green non door now. It doesn't really matter because we're never going in again, right? So correct. And yeah. he gets to move in for free, and that guy can't see him. Yep. And then uh, he does. So we'll go in and uh, switch this in right from the reserve. And I will spend um, my last two dice to do a physical move with him. I got three. I'm just going to have him go to the corner he wants to be in until it becomes dangerous. And you don't want any of that movement for yourself? <laughs> I mean, that, that guy's literally about to turn the... Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I'm no, dumb. That, this guy's this guy's head. Yeah, I totally... I don't know what I thought. It's all good. Definitely nothing this, that this makes This guy's sense. eventually... Well, they're, they're eventually going to like hit each other. So how much did I roll? I rolled three. Never mind. He's not moving at all. I'm moving myself all three because I am an okay. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're, we're good now. My fault. All good. Oh, we can decide who goes first. So who's going to like rotate around and start heading back quickly, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we, we choose which one moves ah, first. Oh, crud. Yeah. I still feel like I'm in major danger here, but we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> go ahead, uh, Shannon. Okay. So I have... Four whole dice. You know, Shannon, now that I know how the robots are moving, do you mind if I don't uh -huh. take the free movement with transmitter yet? I don't mind. I know I'm 
retroactively doing things, but I'm just realizing I'd rather have this guy move first, get really far away from me, give me the space I need to get into the warehouse safely. And then mm-hmm. this guy, though, will like immediately head back that way, right? Yeah. And would see him. That's fine. Yeah, yeah I, think with, I think it's smart to, to not move transmitter in until you're in position. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Good call. Okay. Um, okay, so I need to move on to that terminal. So I think I'm going to use that first one, uh, my first action as a movement, and just roll one of my yellows uh, and hope that I don't get a blank. Hey, there you go. Hey, there we go. All right, so I'm on the terminal, and I'm going to use... You thinking of the skipping straight down to the tech action? I think I think I'd better. Yeah. Although wait, aren't you? Um, don't forget your imperative. You're you're skipping the uh, the access anyway, aren't you? Oh, you're right. Yes, that's what I was trying to think through. Okay, you don't have to do security checks, so there's no point in skipping an action. Um, so let's see what my terminal access. Yeah, just show is. it again for those watching. <laughs> I'm having fun, uh, Shannon, forgetting that we're doing a stream or not a stream, but a video. <laughs> uh, me, me too. So it's all good. Just having fun. All right, so security check I can skip. Um, otherwise, I have to do the bottom, which is four AP to reduce threat by three. That's kind of useless. No, that's awesome. I'm so happy that you've reduced our zero threat. <laughs> <laughs> now, assuming you can just say you're rolling zero dice and have no chance to get the four AP, correct? Uh, correct. Um, all right, so that terminal didn't do anything, but that got my uh, that got my imperative taken care of, which gives me a power, which is always a good thing. And sorry, do you you spend power and then build your dice pool? Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Yes. And that terminal token is gone, or can you keep interacting with it? It is gone now. Uh, so that's gone. I did that terminal, and now I'm. Uh, kind of stuck in the bathroom, so let's just uh, use the rest of this as movement. I mean, when access needs to go, access needs to go, right? <laughs> All right, four movement. One, two, three. We'll just go there. All right. And that's my turn. Okay. So we'll have him go first. One, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. This guy will go one... Um, two, three, four. Did I do that right? Uh, one, two. Yep. All right. Yeah, I mean, transmitter might have a little bit of trouble getting to that corner. Uh, yeah, I mean, wait. Uh, <laughs> am I wrong? No. Oh, does it say opposite corners? Uh, no. You might not be wrong. Two different external corners. Yeah. If you go back in the rot washroom, and I get into the <laughs> warehouse, we've done it. Uh, true. Uh, yeah. Your call. I'm not saying yeah. you need to go back to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that might be, might be worth doing. All right. So you're taking care of our burn cycle up here. We got to flip. Yeah. So I just flipped. No, no, no. One. Oh, we flipped two of them. Uh, oh no. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I, I sorry, had already I done it. You, I forgot you had done that. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip it um, now. Now that I know that I can't like retroactively do things there's a decent chance there'll be a garden here i just realized the warehouse is yeah all right well so be it um i am trying to access i do not have a bonus this time i'll go ahead and use i guess it's two orange i hate to fail oh just barely got it so let's see what the keypad has this time gotta roll the die where is that die let me zoom in on that so they can see what i roll that is the worst roll you could have rolled. Is that door broken? Yeah, that door is jammed. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Uh, so. Okay. Uh, you know. You know so, what? Maybe transmitter you and can... you will solve the <laughs> the objective. <laughs> so a door jam. Um, you can't open it with a keypad anymore. You can spend six AP to bust it open, or um the the jam will resolve itself the next time we reset the burn cycle which is probably going to be maybe after this turn yeah 
Oh, man. Um, so just take a the keypad card and put it face down in that spot to to indicate that it's kind of blocked. Okay. Huh. You got six AP to spare, don't you? I mean, it's not it's not impossible. Um, now we'll like break and open the door, or like bash and open a wall. None of those will like add threats in and of themselves, right? Uh, no. All right, I'm just gonna pretend I have like an acetylene torch in my arm that I can cut through. Uh, uh okay, let's see. Because I'm also thinking I could take the move action that's next to get transmitter onto the uh the objective space do we complete the objective immediately or does it need to be like at the end of the turn or something uh just immediately okay because i'm thinking if i get transmitted on the space yes they're gonna see him oh he has nowhere to go oh my gosh transmitter why are you in deathville over there yeah we kind of put him in i mean we we can always he can always still go through security I mean, that doesn't seem much better. Um, <laughs> no, it's not great. But if he if he truly gets like blocked in by those guys. What I'm trying to see, let's see what's going to happen in this next turn. He'll go one, two, three, four. He'll be looking away. But this guy will be looking right in the exact same spot. Ah, geez. So yeah. then we have to wait an entire another round so, after that. Yeah. So we can wait until, and then they'll, they'll, they can kind of file after each other back out the hallway. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I think I'm, I'm thinking I might <laughs> run back to the lobby. Mm-hmm. Um, because we can we can kind of you know burn some turns in a way without resetting the burn cycle. Wait till both those guys move on, then reset the burn cycle, right? Uh, sure. Just to like kind of manage our mm-hmm. threat. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna take the physical action. I know, I, and I can do some network action. I totally forgot about network. So you know, yeah, let, let me not know. do. Let me not do. Um, I don't need to move yet. So let me go ahead and access the network with this next one, which, um, which requ- so it costs you two dice, right? It says two dice automatically. So I'll just uh, use two of my basic ones. So that gets me in and then I don't get in. <laughs> that's okay. That's, that's by far the hardest card. I can't believe it ended up on top. Yeah. yeah I was going to say it's the only ones we've seen so far. <laughs> okay. Um, now, if I did it again, would anything happen, or do I need an additional action to actually move on there? You'd you'd get onto the first. Uh, let's see, your black. So you would you'd get onto this spot. So it would be worth something. All right, so let's try it. Oh, I only have. I mean, are there any ones that will allow me to access it with zero dice left? Uh, maybe. Well, you know what? I got nothing else to do. I, let's, don't, let's I don't know what the build is, but all right, let's try it out. So, return one IP token to its origin point. What's an IP token? Oh, those are our little pegs over here. Oh. So that's fine. So that's good. They already are, and then you can do your thing. Yeah, where is my pawn? Did oh, oh, he's, oh, you have him over here from when he was in the example. Oh. So I go right here, which is worth nothing yet. But then but if you're I, on the board. Yeah, I'm on the board to potentially get to one of those access points later. All right, cool. Yeah, I, I'm I'm happy about the network. I was worried that I was gonna like have wasted turns, but clearly there's always something you can be doing. Yeah, in general, especially with with between terminal and the network. All right, so uh, your go. My go. All right, so uh, I'm still not I'm not gonna spend any power because I don't have much, but I do have an extra die now, so that's nice. I really I really want to go for that crate, but it's like danger zone over there. Oh, all the way up in storage. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you if you save up enough movement, this guy's going to see you no matter what. But then if you can get far enough, like around the corner, he won't see you after you run away. Right. Yeah. Um, all right. So maybe I'm going to do some networky stuff. Um, so because I'm doing it on tech, I get to do it without spending two dice. And I draw an access card. What have I got? Draw a terminal instead of wireless. Oh, that's great for you. Yeah, that'll work. (laughs) Sure. Okay, so still getting to bypass the security check. Um, Now, for two AP, I can... Um, access a room camera and uh, surveil a room. I mean, I would love if you did that for the uh, the warehouse, for example. 
Okay. And then for two AP, I can increase threat by two and remove one unengaged guard from the floor oh, wow. and gain two power. Why don't you... Uh, That's totally worth it. Yeah, let's get rid of, like, Bulldog, maybe? Right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so... Um, so, since you're doing both, I assume you build a dice pool. Like, you say which one you want to do first and then try it, basically. Yep. Yep. So, let's try that bottom one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have much left to do after this. So we really want to get rid of like one of these guards. So I'm going to do that for, for the bottom one. Oh, uh, good thing. Oh, I just got it. <laughs> um, all right. So increase that by two. All right. I got that. Remove one of the guards and, uh, gain two power. And you agreed with Bulldog. You think that's the right one? Um, yeah, I, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Just cause I mean, to get to the elevator, he's going to see every single one of us. You know what I mean? Yep, for sure. Uh, and then I've got... Oh my gosh, you got uh, two more power. You are rolling in and out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then I've, I'm going to do the other one uh, with these dice. Uh, yep, super got it. So let's surveil. Let's make sure the warehouse is surveillable. It is. So uh, oh, right. It had to have here. the white camera icon. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so, oh, all right, so we've got a guard, so why don't you draw a guard out of the bag? And do I choose his facing, or or is it no, how the icon so is looking? His, yeah, his, um, yeah, he looks the same way that the icon is looking, so he'll face that way. Uh, and then our terminal in here is broken, but there's an unlocked crate. Nice. So we'll pull a crate out, and then uh, we'll pull... So there's an equipment there uh, that if you walk into that space, you'll just get it. Now, wait, is, is the actual physical game going to have little crates that you pull stuff out of? Yeah, they're going to be um, like f like uh, flexible plastic. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, that'll, that'll go, that'll cover the dice. That's great. Okay. Yep. All right. I don't know if I need to go in there anymore. I, I like our bathroom uh, hallway plan a lot more now. <laughs> But yeah, I can go over to the storage and try to mess with that crate now that the uh, bulldog is gone. Sure. So that was all your first action, right? Uh, yes, that was all my first action, but I don't have any dice left. Um, all right, so I will use movement to get closer to the restroom. Uh, and I don't have anything else I can do. So I'm done. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, it's nice not to have that guy breathing down our neck. All right, so this flips, but I'm I'm gonna say we maybe shouldn't redo the burn cycle yet. Are you cool with that? What do you think? Um, yes, yeah, I'm comfortable with that. So I'm going to, I guess I'll just skip the first one and go all the way down to uh, trying to move a ton. I guess I could try to access the network. I mean, how far would a would that symbol get me? Oh, that would get me really far, like right next to the... Uh... Okay, so sure, I'll try to access the network. Um, I'll just use two of my basic dice. See if I get a nice friendly one this time. You cannot skip more than two nodes per move within the network. So currently I was going to skip three. So do I stop there then? Uh... Yes. Okay, I mean, that's fine. That still gives me yep. two out of three action types will move me to the first thing. So I could immediately do this without needing to access again. Let's do that, and I'll just move Correct. next turn. All right, so I can choose... I can lower our threat by one, which is not too bad yet. So it's about to go... Oh, wait, it's about to go up by three. So one would not be enough to avoid the activity tracking. Correct. Um, Or I could... Um. Increase signal strength. To take out some links, but they're going to be in the inner circle anyway for a while. Yeah. Um, and what was the third option? The third one was, is to, to transfer, but there's, there's okay. I'm not on there to transfer. Right, well, so I will so. lower our threat. I mean, that's kind of the... Okay, cool. All right, and I that's... Mean, that's always helpful. Yeah, and that's, I uh, think, it for me. Um, and I don't have any actions left to use my dice. Okay. I am... Hmm. Okay. Well, I've got lots of power, so I should probably spend some. 
Um, since we're going to do a burn cycle reset soon, I'm going to spend two and get us another burn cycle slot. I think I'm going to keep the rest because there's nothing else worth going down to one health for. And I don't know if it's even possible <laughs> for you, but if you have a way to get another access point and lower threat by one again, that would prevent the, uh, the three CEO pings from popping out when we reset the burn cycle. Um, I could. I mean, you, you do you. <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud. I was just thinking if I use a bunch of movement this turn, I can just get that objective complete. I mean, terminal's gonna, gonna take some lumps. Uh, Although if we wait one turn, there. transmitter will be able to safely, uh, We've been saying that for how many turns now? Well, but 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 but, but it's finally it's finally gonna be true. Like all, all of our waiting will okay. be you know thrown away. <laughs> okay. If we move so it now, I'll, I'll wait on that. Um, and yeah, let's do let's do some network stuff then. Um, so first is a tech. So I bypass the security check on wireless access. It says you cannot skip more than two nodes per move within the network. Um, okay, so I'm moving on to the first tech, which actually I would I have to stop there because of that card. Well, you can't skip more than two, right? So you'd be one more further. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, and then uh, second action gets me to the signal point, and I'll uh, put our threat back down. Yay! All right. Okay, and then that's it, right? Guards move. Two, three, yep, four. Guards move. One, two, three, four. Oh, man. I'm dumb. He's going to be able to see him when he moves in, isn't he? <laughs> no, because uh, his visibility is two, but just have to one. No, but uh, the door is oh, right so, here. Yeah, he'll, he'll see how many moves in. Um, yeah. I think we can work with that. Okay, though. yeah. I mean, oh, You're right. We've been waiting a while. Okay, so do we yeah. reset the burn cycle now? Is that how it works? I I think I think it's time. Yeah. All right, so, so show me how it works. I think I understand it, but I just want to make sure. Okay, so everything we have uh, just clears our current burn cycle. Like back into the bags? Yep. Okay. And then we'll rebuild... A new. Although, don't forget, I'm messing us up terribly with my. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so I'm providing nothing. <laughs> okay, so I'm providing um, one of each. Oh wow. Um. So I'll let you throw those in the bags if you want, in the bag if you want. And I'll just yell at you what we get. So I'm providing one of each. And then I'm also providing another movement and another utility from the room I'm in. Oh, right. I should have gone into a room and first. Then, and then uh, Transmitter is providing us a utility because of the space. Okay. Room. Well, that, that worked out better than I thought. Yep. And you raise it up to four tokens now, right? Yes. Okay. So one, two, three, four. So we only have two left in our reserve. Okay. And this oh. keypad is now a regular keypad again. Correct. Not that I want to go in there necessarily, but. <laughs> yep. And then our threat goes up. Yep. And then you are the first player now. T take your Cloud Spire chip. <laughs> oh, and I get to <laughs> power. Um, cool. I'll probably spend some of that in a second. So my turn. Um, I think we're just going to have to go for it. The question is, where does he go after the robots see him? If we wait to move him one more turn, they'll be way out of the way, right? I think he's going to have to take one damage. Okay. But then how does he but even get by them? I'm trying to think of how he gets by them to get to a safe zone. Uh, there's a safe zone right here. Oh, so you want him to go into the security office? <sighs> oh, oh, I see. Yeah, I'm, I'm zooming in now. I see it as its own door. Now, is that there's no lock on it, unlike the other ones, but they're supposed to be, I assume, right? It's locked. Uh, I don't think it is. It's just a, it's a little like personal elevator. Yeah, sorry. Right. This is every, everything's great now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's gonna take one hit, but everything else is gonna be great. So I think it's worth it. Yeah, and I'll I'll get the elevator unlocked for you when you come running my way. Perfect. 
Um, it'd be nice to have a movement, but <laughs> I, mean, I guess we could switch one with the reserve, right? If we just wanted to be wasteful, we could. I don't think it's worth it. Um, no, I don't either. So I, I mean, need, yeah, we'll be I fine. Need at least two move for him and two move for me. So if I roll those three dice, I should get a two, or I should I should get a four. I'm just gonna do it. All right, I got three. <laughs> okay, you're gonna spend the next action, All right? right? <laughs> One, two, three. And his uh, awareness token is right here. Yes. Correct. Okay. Correct. And we can get rid of this little green thing now that he's inside the building finally. Yep. And then uh, one more action for me. I'm just going to roll both the dice and make make sure of it. All right. So I move on to the terminal. So our objective is complete and we all get, how much was it? We, we all get two power. And that includes transmitter so he can take a bit more damage now? Yep. Beautiful. Oh man, I'm going to be able to I'm going to be a big spender in a second. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me look at what my uh, other abilities do in the uh, mm-hmm. the rule reference. Yeah, so for everybody else, my rewire lets me jam a door. I guess that means, what, like a guard can't go through it? Uh, right. A tech action, replace an action, locked or not in your burn cycle with one from your pool for six AP. Oh, so... Is that... Yeah, that's literally like these, so you could... For six AP, you could just like swap one out with a tech from the from the supply. Oh wow, nice. Okay, so not from our reserve, but from the like general supply. Correct. That's nice. So we can always do it from the reserve. So you know, I think I forgot my ringleader ability on my like last couple of turns. I'm not sure uh, there. Ah no. An access <laughs> intent. After drawing a wireless or terminal access card, you may also reveal the next card, leaving it face up on the deck. Oh, that's cool. It kind of combos well with you hacking and everything. Yeah, but for now, I think I'm just going to go... Oh, sorry, you weren't finished, right? You had a couple more actions left? Uh, I was at a dice, so I, I'm done. All right, so let me... I will spend... Sorry, it's two power and one advanced to get a red die. Is that correct? Yes. Yep. And then I'll spend two more power to get another orange die. Okay. So I'm, I actually have the exact same dice pool I had before, plus a red die. I need to... I want to open that door. What's their range? Two. So this guy's going to come running around. Ah, so he would see me. I mean, I can open the door and then go around the corner. I guess I can just go inside the elevator. But I can't I can't do the network from inside the elevator. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do a move action first. Um, I just need two. So let's do an orange and a yellow and hope it's enough. And it's not. So I move one. <laughs> and let's uh, do the next action also as a physical. What was that you were saying about uh, resource allocation? Yeah, nothing. nothing. <laughs> You're um, not good at it. Oh my gosh. All right. Cool. Cool. That's fine. I'm glad we have a lot of actions. So I'm going to do another one. <laughs> and actually, I'm going to. I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to roll my red and an orange and two yellows. Wow. Okay, I got four, though. It's not enough. Darn it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Try to get away from that guy's uh, patrol route. And then uh, I guess for my last action... Oh, wait. Ah, I keep on forgetting that I... So I would have said the first one was a move. Like I could have said it was a physical with my ringleader. So let's just say I have two extra move and all the rest of the rolls can stand in their terrible way. Um, <laughs> sure. Okay. So now I can, I mean, I'll, I'll probably just see the keypad and not be able to do it yet, but I can use my last four dice to try to uh, access the keypad. I mean, four is kind of overkill, but why not? Yeah. Okay. You're, you're on utility, so it's a good time. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Cause I can ignore one. Yep. Um. Oh, or it's and blank. It's free, and it's a free pass. That, 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 that makes up for the uh, broken <laughs> door before. <laughs> All right. And I don't think I want to go inside yet because I figure it'll take you at least a couple turns to get over to me. Yeah, I think that that's a... I think you should keep going around until I can get over there. Yeah. All right. So this guy's easy. He's going to go one, two, three, four because he's not the nearest. So this guy's going to go one... And now he's aware of the guy. 
Um, right, so two and he'll attack him, or how does that work exactly? Uh, yeah, so he'll move onto the marker, which clears it. Oh, and sorry, we should have gained a uh, threat, right, when that was placed? Yes, we should have. So we have the three pings as well. Yeah. So one goes to the orange, and the other two are waiting on his head, is that right? Uh, yes. Okay. So, yeah, so, like, pr- pretty simply, when a guard is adjacent to a bot is when they take damage. Yeah. But that's not too bad. That guy's kind of out of the way. He should be able to run behind the other guard. Yeah, so I, I think we definitely... Uh, what do you do with that peg? I don't know what I'm doing. I was, <laughs> so th- there's his bag. There's, I was like, yeah, I was, I was like looking everywhere for the fan. <laughs> Just hovering uh, aimlessly. All right, so uh, that was it for all the bots. Um, do we do these guys moving too now? Uh, yep, so the network pings, I'll have to move too. Like that, right? Yep. And then we lose our bottom burn cycle. And we're good. Well, let's definitely switch in the physical, right? Since we need a ton of move to get us all uh, out of here. I think that, that seems like a good idea. I mean, do you um, think... I, I why, why don't you spend your actions going and I'll use mine to get the door... Oh, no, that's right. The door doesn't even need to be open. But I'll, I'll focus my actions on getting a transmitter to safety. Okay, sounds good. Um, so I pretty much just need to run. Oh, this guard is coming my way. No, he's going to end at the end of the hallway, right? You can come to the north side I opened up now. Yeah, but I, I got to get, like, this is, this is the, <gasps> oh. this is the open door. This one's oh, locked. we never opened the north door. So You're gotta... right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's okay. I think I'll just uh, try and get here and unlock that door. We've got lots of utility, so. Um, I need to move one, two, three, four. Uh, now, when we start six. a new when we start a new floor, do we reset the burn cycle automatically, or do we just keep on going wherever our burn cycle currently is? Um, we would reset the burn cycle, um, but it wouldn't be like a, a threat bump. Yep. Um, so I actually should spend some power first because I've got. So I'm going to do the two for another orange die. Uh, okay, so I need to move six. So if I do that, then I should... And then all I need to do is open a door. All right, so let's just try and go with these three then and see what happens. Nice! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a great roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was awesome. <laughs> Love, I love dice games for for when that stuff happens. Oh, sure, no. Like, anybody who hates <laughs> dice, I'm like, well, that's fine, but <laughs> you're never going to have as much fun as you would otherwise. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip one to do a utility action of the keypad. Um, so that costs me uh, two dice. No, no, you need two AP, right? I have to roll two AP. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to roll, I'm just going to roll all three. Whoa. Glad I did. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So we've got the keypad unlocked. Uh, oh, no. What does that mean? Uh, oh, yeah. I can ignore anything except for a shot. There you go. So get out of here, keypad. Uh, yeah. So I'm good there. Uh, I have one action left and one die left. So I might as well, I might as well move transmitter. Oh, yeah. Good call. And you'll get plus two. That's awesome. Yep. All right. Transmitter moves three. And so, leaves his thing one, behind. Two, three. Yep. That is there. Beautiful. All right. So let's make the magic happen. Um, yeah. So I guess the two movement at the end I get for free is it. So I can literally spend all my dice and these icons as doing some network stuff, right? Yeah. Go for yeah, it. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. So. Um, so I'll spend two dice. Uh, this orange should be back over here. Yep. So I've got five, even if I get that crazy card. Draw a terminal. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. You got terminal access yep. instead. Okay. Uh, security well, check. Good. Extra terminal security. Okay. So two AP. You said a red rolls a minimum of two, right? Uh, yes. Oh, but it also gives me the reroll symbol. All right. Let's do two orange. Whoa! 
Six? That's more than I needed. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I can pick one option. File down. Ooh, game three. What? Or central air game control. All stationary guard routes are now nearest terminal. Place alert markers at affected terminals. Oh, so they're like all the guards go to co- repair the air conditioning? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm definitely going to go for file server, and I think there's basically no way I can fail, but I'll spend, I guess I'll spend all the rest of my dice. I don't think I need, have any much else to do with them. Yeah, go for it. Oh, there we go. Three, and I could have rerolled the, the one. I mean, whatever. <laughs> so, um, again, three power. That is awesome. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, and then... I'm just going to skip down to the movement one. I just grabbed the entire action. <laughs> I'm just going to skip down to the movement one. And I'll use the two free moves to get him in his elevator and me in mine. So we're just hanging out for you, I guess, basically. Perfect. But we do have to do an entire turn, including the uh, the pig guys, right? So he goes one, gets the wall on his right, two, three, four. And that clears this... Uh... This guy goes one, two, three, four, and he turns that way. Yeah, you got you got a clear path. Oh, and the pegs. So this one moves first, and we immediately roll for it. Yes. And that is the adding another peg. Is that what that is? No. Um, oh, that's increasing that their is... signal strength. Yes. Yes. Okay, and then these guys. So these guys just queue behind him because they didn't get uh, bumped up. Correct. All so right. it should be the final turn of the floor. Make it spectacular, Shannon. <laughs> well, okay. Here's the thing. I got a. You're blocking. The oh elevator, wait. The oh. elevator door you opened. <laughs> wait, hold on. I had I had a yellow die left. I could have spent it. Did you? I did. Yes, because okay. I rolled a blank. So hopefully it won't be a blank. And actually, you know what? Uh, I had two icons left. So that's my first attempt. Here's my second you, attempt. You were doing it on movement, weren't you? Well, no, but that's the thing. Um, I I could to make sure oh, that my die rolls, I can just use them as like blank physical checks until yeah. I finally get it. All right, so now I'm in. Okay. So sorry about that. Okay. No, nope, <laughs> that's all good. All right, so I need to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and this gets locked, so I guess we'll put our other reserve one in. Sounds good. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna make sure this happens. Uh, I'll I'll. Uh, I'll roll all my dice. Okay. <laughs> uh, for a movement. Two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you definitely got it now, and even with the two free movement. Yep. The two free movement for one, two. And huzzah, we all made it to the safe zone. And we were like ghosts, except for that stupid transmitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we did really well mitigating the guards that time that, that was awesome. well that card to cancel out their most dangerous guy entirely that was key yeah that was that was really good we actually that was a that was one of the best runs i've had in terms of keeping threat down gaining power um not dying. I, mean, I feel great about our power really especially with me getting that three at the end <laughs> like we're gonna be in a nice place absolutely so that was floor one um, and then you would do a second floor, which would be harder, and a third floor, which would be harder than that. And uh, will, yeah. will the prototype I'm getting, Shannon, have a second floor so I can show that uh, potentially? Uh, it should, yes. Okay, cool. It'll have a second floor, um, probably not a third floor. That's fine. But, we'll, we'll just pretend yeah. the CEO couldn't afford to build a higher building, and that'll be it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so thank you so much to Shannon Wedge for giving us this early look at Burn Cycle. I am, I mean, I'll just tell you right now from playing that, I'm super duper excited about this one. I had so much fun playing. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and uh, check out the channel next week uh, as soon as I can. Like this is going to be the, (laughs) it'll be priority one once the prototype arrives. I will be uh, getting another video up so you can make the best choice you can with the Kickstarter going live on Tuesday, November 10th. So Shannon, thank you so much. Good luck with all the rest of the plays you're doing today. Uh, Thank you. Thanks, Mike. And everybody else, we'll see you at the next stop.